biblical. <laughs> They're really uh, crazy looking. They've got bright red eyes and bright markings. Well, whether you would describe it as biblical or just really, really loud, the Midwest is going to be downright noisy come just a few weeks in late spring. It's all thanks to the rare emergence of two periodical cicadas. So they're incredibly loud, uh, up to 100 decibels, which is equivalent to something like a jet engine. Um, they come up out of the ground. There are thousands and thousands of them singing all at once, and they're singing for females to attract females. Um, and yes, it can be really intense. They sing during the day. Not exactly music to your ears, but to learn more about what we can expect, I stopped by the biology department at Grand Valley State University, picking the brain of Professor Michael, uh, Michael Henshaw. So the cicadas we typically see every year, they're annual cicadas, but what makes this year rare is the co-emergence of two periodical cicadas, meaning they only appear every several years. So one of the brutes of cicadas only emerges every 13 years, the other only emerges every 17 years this year. Though, on a rare occasion, both will come up for the world to see. And again, we'll just be really, really loud. Here in Michigan, though, we're only going to see likely one brood. That's brood 13, uh, but they'll be emerging in massive numbers, more than what we normally see in our southernmost counties. Uh, most likely, again, in late May, early June, hanging around for about six weeks. The annual cicadas we see, again, only show up typically in late summer. So this emergence uh, will be very loud in late spring. But other than just being super noisy, they are relatively harmless. They're not really that harmful to plants unless you're planting a very young tree. So if you planted a tree this spring, you might want to try and protect it from them because they feed on the, the xylem, the sap, um, and um, they also lay their eggs inside the twigs. They'll make little cuts in the bark and lay eggs in there. Well, kind of like we told you where the path of totality was for the solar eclipse, if you want to see the co-emergence, likely the best spot for that is Illinois, something they haven't seen in more than 200 years and won't see for another 200 years. And I think Janice has been wanting a front row seat for this. She's Can't wait. You're hoping a vacation <laughs> solely to see these two uh, brutes of yeah. uh, cicadas together. Ah, as you were saying, Illinois is going to get it worse.